Welcome to the Pravda video digitization tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to convert your old VHS and VHS-C tapes to digital video. First things first, make sure your laptop is plugged into a power source. The power cord plugs into the round port in the upper left corner. Next, connect the external hard drive to the laptop, which plugs into one of the USB ports. You'll also need the VCR along with the Roxio video capture device and the RCA red, white, and yellow video cable, which should be attached to each other with red tape as you can see. Make sure the VCR is plugged into a power source and will connect it to the laptop using that cable. Take the red, white, and yellow cables and connect them to their corresponding colored ports on the back of the VCR and connect the other side of the Roxio video capture device into one of the laptop's USB ports. Turn the VCR on using the power button on the upper left hand side and slide in your VHS tape label side up. If you have a VHS-C, which is a rarer and compact version of a VHS, you will also need the VHS-C adapter which you can see at the top of the screen. The tape on the bottom is just a regular VHS tape. If you have a VHS-C, it will be small enough to fit inside the compartment at which the arrow above is pointing. To insert it, move the switch at the bottom left to ON. The cover should flip open after a brief whirring sound. If it doesn't, you'll have to replace the AA battery on the left side. Now put the tape into the adapter, close the lid, and let the adapter whir for just a bit more. Slide the adapter with the tape into the VCR. Now that we have everything plugged in and connected, on the laptop, click on the Roxio Easy VHS to DVD icon from the bottom taskbar. From the opening menu, always choose Record, Edit, and Save on the right, even if you're planning to burn a DVD. You'll have the choice to burn a DVD after digitization is finished. This is because if you insert a DVD now into the computer, Roxio delays recording to test whether the DVD works, and this can prevent capture of video at the start of the tape. Click Start a New Project. Type a name for your video on the right-hand side of the screen. If your tape is already playing, you'll see the picture appear on the left. In this case, you may want to rewind the tape to where you want your video capture to start, and then click the Record button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Now you can press play on the VCR and wait while the video transfers. When the tape is finished, you'll press the stop recording button in the bottom right corner. Now click the arrow so we can export your recording. If you want to save your video onto a DVD, use the horizontal slider to make that selection. Now, insert your blank DVD-R or DVD-RW into the disk drive on the left side of the laptop. Though it's barely visible in this photo, you'll need to press a small rectangular button on the black part to open the disk tray. Once it pops out, insert your disk into the tray and carefully close it again. Under DVD Title, type a name. If you wish, unclick Add Menu or explore the Change Menu options to choose a menu design for your DVD. Leave Auto Fit checked. And now choose Burn in the bottom right corner. If Roxio tells you that it must span your video across multiple DVDs and this is unacceptable, consider saving a file instead of burning to DVD. We'll go over how to do that now. Instead of choosing DVD from the horizontal slider, you'll go back and choose Computer. Then under Save File 2, click the button with three dots to find a new location. The Browse for Folder window will pop up, in which you can search for a place to save the file, such as the desktop, or as we recommend, the Toshiba external hard drive. When you've chosen a location, click OK. Click the small plus button to expand the advanced settings options. Now change the compression drop down to H.264 and consider changing the quality slider to best. This will increase the quality but also the file size of your video. 
Now you can click the export button in the lower right. And depending on how long your video is, it may take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour to process the video. When it's finished, click Done, and your video will be saved in the location you chose earlier. Thanks for watching the Pravda VHS digitization tutorial.